Yeah, Smart War Games here. Let's check out Medal of Honor Pacific Assault. Yeah, I had already a recording done on this game. Unfortunately, it failed. Lost a lot of gameplay. So I will now focus on the most important. Yeah, that is a World War II shooter, as the name indicates, focusing on the Pacific Theater. You can acquire it from GOG. Game runs fine on Windows 10, 11. However, I was not able to select my resolution probably because my screen is too high res. I also had some mouse issues. Game runs basically the same engine or the same yeah, folder structure like MOH Allied Assault. So you could create an auto exec file. But another method is if you boot up that game, it will create in your documents folder EA Games. MOH Pacific Assault a personalized folder if you open that new config file as a text editor you can input a custom resolution I think 2k and those games usually don't profit that much from beyond 1920 or HD but that is up to you I think UI elements will be fine with that resolution and then you can play it widescreen. Yeah, furthermore, I had severe mouse issues probably because of my mouse having a too high polling rate. I think I have 1000 Hz. That was rather seldom back in the days. It was either this command I found on the internet that fixed the mouse for me or setting the, a custom refresh rate. Yeah, the default refresh rate was 60 Hz. I ramped it up to my screen but I suspect this setting is the crucial one. Yeah, and then save that. <clears throat> and let's boot up the game. Yeah, you will basically follow a group of soldiers, yeah, something similar to the Pacific, if you enjoyed that TV series, uh, which is basically Band of, Band of Brothers in the Pacific. That you might also enjoy this game. It has some nice set pieces, including uh, Tarawa, which you will see any second later on. Also, the uh, surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. It also has some shooting gallery stuff, which I'm not really a fan of. I like shooting down tons of zeros, but that is basically to all those COD, MOH action shooter type of games. True. Multiplayer. Might not work out of the box. There is a server dedicated ser or server tool shipping with the game. I checked the internet, there is also some unofficial patches allowing you to bypass this defunct EA stuff. There might be still people playing or if you want to play with your friends. Pacific Assault multiplayer, yeah, that is still a thing. In the intelligence section, you can activate pop-up facts which will give you some short information on yeah, I just check my stream it will give you some historic information like how many US service members were volunteers etc I will now not activate it let's check out the first introduction mission which then will continue into the tutorial. With the latest news information from Europe, here's Graphics improved somewhat. Uh, seems to be still the same engine, somewhat Quake 3 level engine. But it looks a bit better than in Allied Assault. And again, some emphasis on telling those stories of your soldiers, uh, giving them some personality. And the pretty good soundtrack is also included. And yeah, the GOG package runs fine on Windows 10 11 systems. With those fixes, yeah. In case you struggle with your mouse or your resolution. They keep that up, there won't be no island left to walk on. That's just fine with me. Yeah, 
No way anybody's still alive on that joint. Wouldn't count on that if I was you. Any of you new guys feel like throwing up? Word of advice. Do it now. Three week wonders. That's what we called the new guys. That's all the training they got, and it wasn't enough. They usually didn't last very long. No matter how much training you got or how strong you are, when you strap up and step on a battlefield for the first time, it changes you forever. Taro was just another strip of sand out in the middle of nowhere, but for many of us, it would be the last thing we ever saw. Tommy! I'll see you on the beach! Jimmy, what is going on? Pull yourself together. Otherwise, Pat will come over and slap you. But Jimmy, you're in the USMC, so it'll be fine. Should we?
Maggot, Puke, Worm, and Scumbag. Just a few of the names I was given by my beloved drill instructor in the summer of 1941. Before then, my biggest problem was delivering groceries and not breaking the eggs. Now every time I turn around, some crazy Jap's trying to gut me. I remember asking the recruitment officer, what's the deal with you guys? I swear to God, he looked right through me and he said, deal? We're Marines, son, and we deal in lead. Next thing I knew, I was on a train for San Diego. Soldiering for the Corps. Boot camp. Shine, ladies! Beauty sleeps over! Front and center! Do you understand me? In the beginning was God. All else was darkness. So God created the heavens and the earth. He divided the earth between land and sea, and these he filled with many assorted creatures. The dark, slimy creatures of the oceans God called sailors, and he dressed them accordingly. The flighty creatures of the air he called airmen, and these he clothed in uniforms which were ruffled and foul. The lower creatures of the land God called soldiers, and he gave them trousers too short, covers too long, and pockets to warm their hands. And on the seventh day, as you know, God rested. And on the eighth day, at all 500 hours, God looked down upon the earth and was not happy. God was not happy! So he thought about his labors, and in his infinite wisdom, God created a divine creature, and this he called a Marine. And these Marines whom God created in his own image were to be of the air, the land, and the sea. And these he gave practical fighting uniforms so that they could wage war against the forces of Satan and evil. And he gave them evening and dress uniforms so they might score with the ladies on Saturday night and impress the hell out of everybody. And at the end of the eighth day, God looked down upon the earth and saw that it was good. But was God happy? No! Because in the course of his labors, he had forgotten one thing. He did not have a Marine uniform, but he thought about it and satisfied himself in knowing that, well, not everybody can be a Marine. This puts me one step above God, because I am a Marine. You remember that, and we'll get along just fine. Now you maggots have exactly three minutes until I expect you standing at attention outside. Fall out! He scares me, Frank. I think maybe he is God. Well, Jimmy, just keep your head down and do what he says, and we won't have to find out. Willie, you coming? Oh, yeah, Frank. Oh, hey, Tommy, right? Uh, Tommy Conlon? Uh, my name's Willie Gaines. This here's Frank Minoso and Jimmy Sullivan. Where are you from, Tommy? Oregon. You? Guys, let's head out. We don't want to piss off God, do we? The 
Today is the day we separate the men from the girls. You little pukes will learn the basic necessities for survival, and then maybe, I said maybe, you will become a part of the United States Marine Corps. Are you ready? Aye, Sergeant! Now, Baker Squad, you are to sit tight and wait for your babysitter to show up. I am not him. Able Squad, I want to see you ladies hightail it over to my obstacle course on the double. Move out! I want to see nothing but asses and elbows, ladies! Let's make them proud, boys. Stick together. You got it, Frank. Come on, Jimmy. Yeah, that was the middle of Honor Pacific Assault. Perhaps I can restore my gameplay capture and then upload it. But you should have all vital informations. Check it out. And yeah, see you in the next episode. Good hunting.